What does the rhythm guitar in Santeria? I don't practice Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. Eminem's flow on the way I am. On this earth, since his birth, I've been cursed with this curse to just curse and just blur this berserk. And Jimmy Page's guitar interlude on Stairway in Heaven have in common. Um. Only one word, people. Syncopation. Hey, what's up, everybody out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com, breaking it down. As you saw from the intro, we're talking about syncopation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that guitar, and I'm going to show you two different rhythms that you can, well, three different rhythms that you can use, and one little riff. The idea is once you have these basic aspects, you're going to recognize it in other people's playing, but also have the ability to incorporate it in your own songwriting and your own playing. New guitar lessons every single Monday, so make sure you hit subscribe below so you never miss a lesson. Printable PDF by becoming a Patreon up here and supporting our guitar lessons. You'll also see 10 Thumbs t-shirts up there. But if you came just because you're ready to demystify syncopation, that's cool, I dig it. Why don't you grab the guitar? Brain and attention span. You got those three things? Follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Come on in. Cool, so we're going to examine two forms of rhythm syncopation, and then we're going to look at one little riff to show you how you can apply this to your riffs. This is meant both to help you with genres that use syncopation, but also to inspire you to use syncopation in your own songwriting. So why don't we go ahead and look at two bar chords, but note if you are following along at home, um, you can do this with any chords, whatever your comfort level is. So we're gonna make a D minor bar chord, we're gonna bar the fifth fret and use the A minor shape, and we're going to play an A7 bar chord. We're gonna take that D minor shape, move everything up a string, and remove our pinky. So our first rhythm, we're gonna just get our hand going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But your fingers, we're not making any pressure because we don't want the chords to ring out yet. We want to count it. We're going to go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So what we're going to do is every time our hand goes on an and, we're going to squeeze. <clears throat> One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a change and a three E and a four E and a change and a two E and a three E and a four E and a change. Okay, so that um, particular strum pattern is going to work great on both the electric and the acoustic. You can play it with a band or you can play it alone. This one is going to sound a little better when you're playing with a band um, than playing alone, but it's also going to sound better than our first one. And it's just going to be the same counting, but we're going to go one, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and one and and we're just doing what are called stabs. Now I know a lot of you guys out there, if you speak English as a second language, probably think stab, or even if you think speak English as a first language, it's probably the first thing that comes to mind. But that's the idea. It should feel like you're getting in there, getting in the belly of the beast. And you're gonna want to keep it short and tight. You do that by releasing the pressure of this hand. Hand, 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 release. And it kills the sound. So we're gonna go one and, and just a stab. One and, two and, three and, four and, 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 one two and three and four and okay so that is two rhythm options they're not the only ones you could do upstrokes on the and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and which is like a mute up 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 
With that particular rhythm, if you're going to do that one, it's going to sound a lot better if you're playing just the higher strings. Instead of getting that whole chord like that, if you... So you saw on one of those, I got that A string and then it didn't sound as good. All right, so that's another rhythm. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at a really, really, really basic riff that illustrates the power of um, syncopation as well. It sounds like this. Okay, I told you it was gonna be basic, but I really want to just look at the power of this idea and show you that you can apply it with a pentatonic. It's already in a lot of songs that we've already taught, um, but being aware of it and occasionally practicing it is gonna help your musicianship in terms of lead playing as well. We're gonna make a D chord, and we're gonna go down, up, down, up, which is one and two and, three and, up stroke with the pick, and four, well, three and four, remove that middle finger, open E string, and one and ring finger, third fret. Then you get to this here on the second, well, the off beat after the one, one and ring finger, third fret of the B string, two and open, three and back to three, four and one and that'd be the two so you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one the one is going to be a down strum again with the pick so really slow let's take it really really slow one and two and three and four and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, so you can see that that adds a little bounce to it. If we play it more in speed, we get coming from the D major pentatonic. In fact, what I'm doing up here in the D major pentatonic is the same thing I'm... Well, not the same thing, but the same scale I'm doing up here. That's a little improv improvisational tip, my friends. Okay, so that was syncopation. It was an overview. It wasn't meant to be a complete reggae exercise or a complete rhythm exercise or a complete rhythm exercise. Mm -hmm. It was meant more to make you aware of what syncopation is, how you can get it in your playing today, and how you look for it. Anytime you emphasize the offbeat, that's what you're doing. So it's all over the place. Be aware of it. Put it in your own playing. Practice it. Practice the strum pattern. Practice counting it, and you will improve, okay? All right, everybody. Until next time, 10thumbspro.com. Keep playing guitar. Keep loving life. Keep on rocking and rolling, friends. <laughs>Cool. So you got the basics of syncopation down now. Go ahead, play it, jam it, learn some reggae tunes, learn some sublime tunes, learn some ska tunes, learn some riffs, learn some action, look for it, add it in your strum patterns. Just take it to the next level. All right, everybody. And until next time, remember new guitar every single Monday. Subscribe and learn. Until next time, 10 Thumbs Pro, baby. Life is good.